Following an extremely exciting month in pop culture, March has seemed to relax a bit, but still provided a bunch of stories involving controversy, scandal, and more. I'm Taryn Warden, and this is Taryn's Day. There's no other way we could start this than with an update on Kesha and the controversy surrounding her, Dr. Luke, and Sony. Recently, fans and other musicians have rallied, including Taylor Swift, to pressure Sony to drop the contract and to donate to buy her out from the agreement. New rumors are that Sony's dropping Dr. Luke a year before his contract is supposed to end, but we'll keep an eye on that for you to see how it develops. In non-Kesha related music news, Ariana Grande has released the title track of her upcoming album, Dangerous Woman. Dangerous Woman will be released May 20th, and a second single, Be Alright, is also out now. Zayn Malik's first solo album is out this Friday. Mind to Mind features his newest single, Before, spelled like the number four, which is possible shade, as the title of his last album with the band One Direction was four. And Gwen Stefani released her first solo studio album since 2006. This is what the truth feels like is out now. In television news, my favorite show, RuPaul's Drag Race premiered their new season. Season eight features 12 distinct drag queens, all competing for $100,000. The season was filmed over the summer, and I already have my prediction for the final three. So just take my word on this. The final three will be Kim Chi, Naomi Smalls, and Seattle's own Robbie Turner. American Horror Story is set to announce their sixth season cast and theme at the upcoming Paley Fest, but Lady Gaga, who won a Golden Globe for her role this year, has already announced she's joining season six. And finally, the tragedy that they call the show The Bachelor is finally over. The winner was Lauren B, and the happy couple's now engaged, but JoJo has already been announced as the Bachelorette for their upcoming season. In Kardashian-related news, Rob Kardashian, the brother that everyone forgets about, deleted all of his photos with his new girlfriend and family rival, Black China, on Instagram. After speculation of a breakup, Rob posted a photo explaining that the couple has chosen to take the relationship offline to be healthier for them. They then jetted off to Jamaica for a birthday vacation. The upcoming shows in our area of Seattle and Tacoma include Ellie Golding on April 2nd, Tanache on April 8th, Iron Maiden April 11th, and former Beatle Paul McCartney on April 17th. A full list of shows and concerts, as well as hundreds of other stories, are available on the Terrence Take Twitter, so be sure to follow us at Terrence Take. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Taryn Warden, and I'll see you back here next time.